Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And I know you're wondering, Heidi, what's what's going on? Um, yes, I got my little wig on and got the sepia tone going. Um, if you watch my channel enough, you know that I love history. And the history channel is um, the premiere of Vikings is um, November 30th, I believe. And I just love those type of shows. So I always coordinate my fragrances to what I'm watching. So I'm going to go over some of the um, fragrances that I like to burn um, during like history shows and also um, like Lord of the Rings is my favorite um, movies of all time and what I burn during those and I love English shows and um, anyway I'm going to show you uh, what I burn um, in coordination with my t favorite TV shows and movies and things like that. So um, I got my little Viking braids going here. And anyway, I thought I'd just do something different. So I'll start with um, uh, like shows like Vikings and documentaries. There's one on Netflix called Irish Castles and um, you know that kind of thing I just I just eat up that kind of thing especially medieval period so one that I like to burn and I'm burning it right now and it's so strong it filled is basically filling up my downstairs and I have it in my little retreat here and it's just filling up my retreat and that's uh, Mountain Lodge by Yankee and this one's just kind of like a cherry tobacco kind of woodsy scent um, and it's very strong and if you like those cherry tobacco scents that's a really good one um, this one I haven't started to burn yet I um, might do uh, start in a couple of days and try this one out it's a Goose Creek mahogany spice and of course it has the antique maps and um, old compass and everything like that and uh, this is just a really spicy kind of cologne kind of scent so um, i uh, be interested to see how that one comes along. And one of my favorite Yankee candles is Mountain Lodge. Um, I just finished a two wick tumbler. So this is just this um, single wick jar. So hopefully it'll have a decent throw. The tarts do have a really good throw. And yeah, this one's just uh, cozy, woodsy. Oh, there's just... I don't, I don't know. It's just too good to even explain this one. Um, so that one I do burn a lot um, during like history shows. Um, there's Ski Lodge, which is a woodsy, uh, very woodsy, earthy uh, kind of scent. And um, yeah, that's uh, a really good one. And I do have this one, uh, but I only burned it a couple times and it's a bit light. Um, uh, but sometimes with Yankees, a little bit further down, the scent kicks in. But this is a writing jar of leather, and it smells like leather. So this is a really good one if you can smell it um, to burn, like during a Western would be good. Mm, I really like that one. Uh, there's uh, Goose Creek's Cabin in the Woods. I finished up a tart of this, and it's really, really good. Uh, it's it's very hard to explain. It's kind of a stringent, spicy, earthy, woodsy, all that. Um, but uh, an excellent one to burn. And grapevine and oak. Uh, this is um, uh, it's just like uh, fresh wine coming from an oak barrel. And. Uh, Oh, Vanilla Woods, I, I melt quite a bit. Um, uh, this is just a, uh, it's just a woodsy vanilla scent. You can kind of get that, uh, like that cedar kind of scent to it. And um, this one's super duper strong. Tobacco and honey. This is a very smoky honey kind of scent. It's really hard to explain, but this one is one of the strongest tarts I've ever melted before. Yeah, it's just an odd combination, um, and some people don't like it, but I really, really like that one. Uh, Crimson is a new one this fall, um, a bit of a cloney kind of scent. I don't get a lot of cranberry, but I get kind of the woodsy, oaky scent. 
and amber scents. I love burning amber scents with history shows. Um, there's just something warm about it. Oh, this one in particular, brushed teakwood amber. I think I have another one downstairs. Oh, there's just a, a, a woodsiness to it. It's a woodsy, soft, warm amber. It's so nice. And um, this is from Scentsy. Poppy and black suede. It does smell like suede. Oh, but there's other, there's another scent in there. Oh, it is so good. It's almost like a sandalwood uh, suede. Uh, I don't know what else is in there, but that is so good. And this one is woodland su suede, which is kind of a greenery. Uh, there's a little bit of a sweetness in there. But it's kind of a sway, sweet, sweet kind of sandal. Oh, that one's that's another nice one. And then Sensational's Grandpa's Workshop, which is crushed cardamom and tobacco and cedar. Kind of a cherry tobacco scent. Very rich, very warm, very cozy. And that one gets burned a lot during my history shows too. And I love British shows. I like their mysteries and their series and that sort of thing. Um, so I have Tea Time by Sensationals. Um, I burn that during it. Um, this is uh, by um, Everyday Lux. This is Green Tea and Bergamot. This smells exactly like London Tea and Lemon by Bath and Body Works. Um, it's practically the same scent. This one is very, very strong also, just like the, the London Tea and uh, Lemon. Um, and then, um, like I said, the Lord of the Rings is my favorite movies of all time. Um, I, I was watching on Netflix, there was a show, it was about um, the history of um, uh, witches and all that stuff. Um, it was like a five part series or something like that. So I was watching that and um, I was melting Yankee's patchouli uh, wax tart with that. Um, I do have a Yankees patchouli candle. Um, this was poured quite a while. This is 2011. I should, guess I should start burning this. Uh, but uh, that's really nice for kind of like um, the Lord of the Rings, uh, Harry Potter, that kind of herbal, exotic kind of spicy scents. Mm, that's a nice one. And um, Ambiescence makes patchouli and vanilla. Yankees patchouli is very strong. This one's kind of tamed down with the uh, vanilla. Uh, <clears throat> sage and citrus, this is my second one. Um, just haven't started it yet. Um, but that's another kind of, those kind of uh, spicy herbal scents I like with those movies. I don't know why, but it just seems to fit. Mm. And uh, Yankees Bay Leaf and Wreath. This is uh, my second jar, I went through this one already. Um, fairly strong throw. Uh, again, the um, uh, it's a very uh, it's kind of a sharp. Um, there's a spiciness to it. Um, there's a kind of a sharp greenery note to it, an herbal note, um, maybe in a bit of a citrusy orange note to it. Um, but yeah, it just seems to go with those movies. And then Yankee Candles writing jar of sage. Oh, I love this one. This writing jar is very strong. I've gone through a couple of these writing jars of sage by Yankee and they're always strong. And they're just, I don't know, there's just something exotic and mysterious about these scents that go well with those kind of movies. So anyway, um, I got probably a pile more to that I can bur show you that I burn with these, but um, you get the general idea anyhow. So um, if you like to burn your candles according to what you're watching, let me know what some of your suggestions are. And um, so anyway, that's it. Uh, kind of different, but um, uh, this is a, a big part of my life is burning the candles according to what I'm watching. So anyway, if you enjoyed it, let me know and um, everyone take care. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.